Good late Sunday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on the September 23rd of 2018. We had a pretty quiet day overall. Some of us had to deal with some passing fog to start the morning out. If you didn't see that, quite a bit of cloud cover to start. But with some peaks of the sun, we did manage to warm things up quite a bit. So we certainly fared a bit warmer compared to yesterday when we were only topping out mainly around 70 degrees. We only dropped back to about the lower 60s for most locations this morning because of the patchy fog that developed and some of the cloud cover that we really worked on in too. Once we got some pockets of sun to break out though, look at that. Afternoon highs in the upper 70s. It's not too bad. In fact, that's where we should be on a normal September 23rd around here. So we started the 61 at the airport in Joplin, topped out at 79. Again, that's where we should be for an afternoon high normally on September 23rd. A little more th warmer than our average low of 56, but still felt pretty early fall-like across the area. 7th and Range Line back at 1051 had us looking quiet with cloud cover back on the increase. Last check of the currents we had for you at the airport had us sitting at 70 with an east breeze at 5 and the humidity it started to climb up at 78 percent. So far we're not seeing any foggy conditions develop in Joplin, but I am anticipating no drier air working in. So that means dew point stays in the lower 60s going into tonight and into Monday morning. And when we see the temperature get close to that dew point with a light breeze, that will mean patchy fog will certainly be possible going into Monday morning. Temperatures across the rest of the area outside of Joplin, we range from 60 in Iola to 67 in Parsons, 70 in Grills. So there's still a bit of a contrast in temperatures, but in general, most of us middle of the upper 60s to about 70 and speaking of the fog just before the 11 o'clock hour so far visibility are looking okay not seeing any concentrated areas of fog developing yet but you can easily see fog trying to get going across table rock lake especially in the southern ozarks across south central missouri the skywide storm tracker again we had a nice break in the cloud cover today but that cloud cover is ramping back up as we look back to the south because that's where the cloud cover is coming from it's all due to the storm system this same storm system that gave us those rain chances thursday and going into friday this is going to make a brief little return to the area at least it's warm front it's going to come close to the missouri arkansas line as it ventures north going into monday as that happens that's what's going to keep the cloud cover around for monday and it could be close by enough and strong enough to give us just a few showers. In general, most of you will stay dry for your Monday. So we'll get a quick little reprieve of this system for Monday. Then we'll focus our attention to the northwest as we head into Tuesday into the middle of the week as well. Because that cold front, that's going to be starting to work on in as we roll into Tuesday. So let's time both of these systems out for you here. We're going to, again, deal with this system to the south of us to start your monday out it's going to be ramping up the cloud covers keeping any rain chances at least away so we'll stay dry tonight into monday morning temperatures will only drop off mainly lower 60s i think most of us will start around 62 degrees then as we fast forward throughout the course of the day we'll burn off the morning fog we'll see at least some breaks in the cloud cover that should be enough with the light south breeze to get temperatures into the upper 70s but you can see how that fronts nearby can't rule out a stray shower or two but the future tracks picking up on my idea in terms of coverage it's not looking widespread at all in fact you'll be lucky if you can get a stray shower in your neighborhood so in general we're looking pretty quiet for your monday and it will be warm too with at least some pockets of sun let's fast forward into tuesday morning here is that next cold front that will be our key player as we go into tuesday and wednesday so far tuesday morning looking dry to start I'm anticipating things being relatively quiet overall throughout the day on Tuesday. But maybe as early as Tuesday evening, and especially going into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, as that front works in, we do have a chance for some scattered thunderstorms to get going. And as we venture into Wednesday morning, that could start our day out with some scattered showers before we just deal with mostly cloudy skies as we go into Wednesday. So what will this incoming cold front do as far as temperatures go? It's going to take us from 81 on Tuesday to highs in the upper 60s for Wednesday. If we can get at least a break or two in the cloud cover, we might push 70. 
but most of us know it will be a struggle to get out of the 60s for afternoon highs as we go into Wednesday. But we'll be back into the 70s on Thursday. I think most of us around 73 with partly sunny skies. Looking good for Friday. 77 degrees, mostly sunny during the day. The nighttime's looking great. So great for outdoor plans Friday night and certainly for the football games around the area. And then there'll be a quick return of some lower 80s before we try and see if an organized system at least try to organize itself and maybe give us a few showers by next, this coming rather, Saturday and Sunday. So let's recap your forecast for tonight. Let's zoom in. Take you through the overnight into Monday morning. Again, the cloud cover is going to be ramping up, and in some pockets of clearing, we could see patchy fog develop. Otherwise, we'll keep things dry tonight. And it's going to be just a tad chilly with overnight lows in most areas dropping back to 62. Any patchy fog out there during the morning burns off before we hit the 9 o'clock hour. We'll go to 74 by lunchtime, 78 in the afternoon, at least in Joplin. Again, Around Joplin, I wouldn't be surprised if a stray shower tried to materialize. And in general, across the area, I can't rule out a stray shower or two. In general, though, again, it's going to be hard to come by. Mostly cloudy for everybody tomorrow with highs mostly in the upper 70s. I wouldn't be surprised if a few spots hit 80. Then, a recap of the seven-day extended forecast for you here. 65 Tuesday morning, then we'll jump to 81. Then only 68 for a high on Wednesday. Thursday morning... Depending on where you are, we could be starting right around 50 in some locations, but I think most of us will start around 52, then 73 Thursday, 77 Friday, and then we'll see if we can get some more rain chances to work back in here by this coming Saturday and Sunday with highs back in the lower 80s. Have a good night. Have a great Monday.